We begin in Australia, where local reports are saying their famed crocodile hunter, Steve Irwin, has died. They say it's sort of like a bayonet or a bayonet on a rifle, and it just happened to hit him. They ca they're calling it a freak accident because it hit him in the wrong place, it, apparently his heart. If uh, it would have happened in another place, maybe he, he would have been okay. But they say that they tried to get a helicopter to the scene and, and get him uh, help as soon as possible in Queensland, but it was too late. But most of all, he was fun. I know that Daddy had an important job. He was working to change the world so everyone would love wildlife like he did. He built a hospital to help animals, and he bought lots of land to give animals a safe place to live. He took me and my brother and my mum with him all the time. We filmed together, caught crocodiles together, and loved being in the bush together. I don't want Daddy's passion to ever end. I want to help him wildlife just like he did. I have the best daddy in the whole world and I will miss him every day. But by far Steve's greatest achievement has been as a dad. His love and dedication to his children has been inspiring. He was a true natural. Steve has become my brother, mentor and best mate. To the world he was a hero. To me he was my hero. He saved my life. I'll miss you mate. jumped on, whacked, peed on, even groped. And every single time it's been my fault. If I get bitten, I've made the mistake. I knew what I was up against when I went in on that animal.
Crikey, I'd like to see those spills lock back in the archives and never be seen again. Thanks for joining us tonight, and I'd like to see you next time.